you have a YouTube channel, I'll show you how you can back up all of your videos and download them from Google. Starting from your account homepage, just come over to data and personalization and just scroll down until you get to the download option. When you click on this, you'll see that there's actually a lot of downloads available because Google has all these different services. Most of them you're probably not even using, um, but way down at the bottom, there's YouTube. So what I actually wanna do is unselect all the stuff that I don't care about and I can do that quickly by clicking on deselect all and then reselect the Google or the uh, YouTube down here at the bottom. And then you can click on what formats you want. MP4 is the default for the video, which is great. And you can also download all the comments and subscriptions, which you know, maybe you're interested in that. I'm just gonna leave it at the default settings and go ahead and proceed. The next step is to choose the frequency um, and also the delivery method. So the way they usually do this is give you a link through an email. Uh, it's gonna take them a few days, maybe a week. If you have a lot of YouTube videos, they have to do the processing of packaging it into the format you requested. So they don't have the MP4s just sitting there ready to give to you. They actually have to compile those for you. So just be patient and if you want to back up your data, then give yourself a couple days ahead of time to get this process started. The frequency, I'm just going to do this once, but I could have it every two months or something for a year. And the zip file, will make the download size smaller and then you can decompress it after it's been downloaded. All right, now this last option, uh, everything else I left default, but this I would recommend changing if you have a lot of YouTube videos because two gigabytes will only be able to store a couple videos. And if you have hundreds of videos, well then you're gonna have hundreds of files, which will be quite a hassle. To manage so I'm just gonna change this to the biggest setting which is 50 gigabytes now obviously um, you are if you're paying for internet and you start one of these backups and you're downloading numerous 50 gigabyte files you'll you might chew through your uh, monthly like internet allowance so you just want to plan that in as to make sure you have enough data for the rest of what you want to do um, uh, throughout the month because as you would guess backing up a lot of video files is quite a memory intensive operation so with all that you can go ahead and ask google to start working on that for you it says Google is creating a copy of files from YouTube. The process can take a long time and they'll email me whenever it's done. Once Google finishes processing your data, they'll give you an email like this, letting you click on each one of these and downloading those files. You can also click on manage exports and it will take you back to the Google takeout page and now you can click on show exports and also download them from here. Now you can see the advantage of setting it to a 50 gigabyte file size. If we had stuck with a default of two gigabytes, oh, we would have had hundreds of files to download and you do have to click on download on each one, one at a time. Now, because of that, I'm gonna suggest that you, uh, if you're saving to a backup, then rather than downloading the file onto your hard drive one at a time and putting them on your desktop or in your documents or something and then copying everything over to hard drive, you could do that, that will work. It will take a very long time. You can be patient. 
or you can actually tell Firefox, hey, I don't want you to download it into the downloads folder. I want you to download it straight onto the backup drive. And that works great because it works in the background. You can keep doing what you're doing and just as long as you have your backup drive hooked up, uh, it will be putting that data, it, I mean it'll be taking it in through the internet onto your computer temporarily and then automatically transferring it to your, so let's take a look at the, um, if you're in Firefox, uh, it's different than in Chrome, but probably just search for downloads. and save it to your backup drive and choose that location and then from then on Firefox will store all the downloads right on the hard drive so that's a good tip and that will certainly uh, yeah make this process go a little easier because you kind of have to babysit it every hour or so or maybe every couple hours you have to you will have to initiate the next download well in conclusion that is how you can download your entire YouTube channel and save it onto a backup drive